Hi there, I have no idea on earth what I'm doing, but this should be fun. So what we're gonna do is cook beef heart. Now, I've never purchased beef heart before. I Googled some recipes and I came up with something that I think will work. So let's go for it. What I'm using here is an Innova sous vide cooker. And this is something that is not real popular in the United States, so few people have it. So I'm doubting that you have one of these. But what I have done is been cooking my beef hearts in a plastic resealable bag. Uh, that's a baggie in there, and I'm not sure how much uh, plastic is getting into the meat. But anyway, um, we're cooking at 185 degrees. The recipe called for... 18 hours and as you can see we have eight hours and 13 minutes left on this recipe so we've been cooking this thing for about 10 hours now since i have a procedure tomorrow morning as a matter of fact i'm going to get my stent placed in here for the beginning of chemotherapy i have to eat now because i have to give that fasting time before they do the surgery you see what's going on up here in the background here i have a mount i'm going to try this and i have my soda cans on top of it so it won't fall so i can like photograph what's going on on top of the stove got to get creative right so the recipe calls for beef um beef tallow to be used to fry on both sides or to, uh, you know, to sear on both sides of the heart or all four sides. So these things are like cubes. And the only thing I have is this um, pork lard. I don't have any tallow, so we're gonna use this. I know the taste is gonna be off, but um, it is what it is. So first thing that I do, I don't know where the dishes are to do what I'm gonna try to do. But what you have to do is measure everything you know on, on your diet. And I wanna zero out the meter with the bowl on it. So when I put the beef hearts in there, I know exactly how many grams, or I think we're supposed to do this in ounces. We the ounces yet? No, right there. In ounces of uh, beef heart that I'm gonna be cooking. So now let's go over here and uh, 180, 185 degrees is hot. So I'm gonna get this baby out of here. Sorry, we're gonna borrow some, I'm not gonna take everything. And if you notice, this thing has already got quite a bit of beef tallow. I mean, uh, I wish. Um, it has quite a bit of the pork lard that I put in there last night. So let me get some paper towels first because I know this is going to make a little bit of a mess. And we'll come over here. Yeah, I'm going to place it right down there. So here we go. And there we are, okay? And next, I think we'd probably need a fork to make this happen. So we'll go over here. Hey, we're trying the overhead camera. Anything to make you guys happy, right? All right. Actually, I just want a good picture. Boy, these things look smaller and different. And now, what am I doing? It's the um, type of cooking that we're doing over there has a special name for it, and it's called um, cooking 3.5. That's good enough for, for me. Cooking slowly with oils in order to uh, preserve the meat. I think in French the word is confit, C-O-N-F-I-T. Now what we're gonna do is place this back in here. I gotta do this with two hands because as we place it in there, you notice that it's taking all the air out of the bag and I have to like seal it with two hands. And I also feel grease up here, so I'm gonna have to totally wash out 
the the sous vide when I'm done. But do you see how this guy works? It like heats up the water and it's totally Bluetooth and also connects to the internet so you can I can control this guy from the beach. And it just swirls the water around so you get a continuous bath going on here. Now for 18 hours at 185, that is supposed to preserve the meat. I'm not sure what you do with it after that. I suppose throw it in the freezer, but um, let me tell you a little bit about beef hearts. Your heart, as you may or may not know, is a muscle in your body that works like 24 seven. I mean, it's always going, so. Um, I forgot how many grams we had in here. Well, we have 3.5. I'll have to look back at the film to make sure. All right, so now we're gonna turn our stove on here to, me. it said medium, so we're gonna do medium. I'm gonna put like a couple of um, tablespoons of the pork lard in there and we're gonna sear both sides. But we gotta wait for this thing to get ready. Let me turn a little bit of light on here and put the camera up where it belongs. And hopefully that won't fall. Get a large spoon out of here. This stuff I found at a Hispanic store. This is not hydrogenated. It's not made by one of the big conglomerates. So I really don't have to worry about there being any kind of extra stuff in here. So. I like that part of it, and it was only $4.99, which I thought was a great price. Um, I'm gonna let that, that looks like a lot, doesn't it? But that's what the thing called for. Uh, I'm probably gonna make a mess here. Not probably. <laughs> but um, that's just the way it is, right? So let's get our beef hearts. Now, what I wanted to tell you about beef hearts is that they, you know, because of the nature of the heart that it's beating all the time, this muscle is hard, right? So it generally is tough. So that's not a good thing. So if you don't have a sous vide, like you saw uh, that I have, what you can do is put it on the stove the same way inside of a plastic, you know, either vacuum sealed or somehow, and have that thing cook for like, you know, overnight. And then when you get up the next morning, you'll see, I mean, this is just like, I can see already with the fork, this thing is just so tender. It's incredible. Um, I was thinking about doing bacon with this, but I'm not, you know, I already have this going on here. I may do some bacon. Maybe we'll do a little bacon on the side here. I'll put that on the back. And, all right, I do bacon. I try to um, like low, cook on my bacon on low. Normally I just do two pieces of bacon. Um, because it's low in protein and the fat number is just a little bit higher than, than the protein. So, you know, it works out pretty well. In other words, we have um, 10 grams of fat and four grams of protein. So it's something that you can use that's like a good source of fat for your ketogenic diet, which I think is what we're trying to go for here, right? Okay, so, not sure if this is uh, hot enough. I don't think so yet. I'm gonna try to get it. I can see where it's sort of like, you know, you can see like the, the heat waves in there. And uh, got our bacon going, so we're doing well here. All right, guys, I think that's almost hot enough. Let's try. Yeah, there we go. Now this said to do it like a couple of minutes each each side, so that's what we're gonna do. And um, this may be kind of dangerous, but I do this to kind of keep the, the stove a little clean. Um, on an open flame stove, 
course you wouldn't do this, but you can keep an eye on what's going on here. So we got like just a few seconds going on here. These already look good, huh? Sounds good too. And the bacon going on there. Gonna crank that up just a little bit. Now what happens if you keep turning them is you don't get the good sealing going on. I feel these popping all over the place. So I'm gonna, the cleanup's gonna be fun here. Yeah, hello. Maybe a little bit too high there. All right. Welcome to my kitchen. All right, so now I'm gonna turn them just a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you go. Turn the fire down. There, yeah. Let them seal on this side. Um, having second thoughts about eating all that lard, but you know, you gotta get your fat in, so. I might put some of it, whoa. Might put some of it in the, um, in the mix. Yeah. I wish I had the beef towel, cause then you could get the taste of the, of the beef in there too. Alrighty. And then, it's just the water that's coming out from the beef. And then our last side here, we're gonna do like right there. Mm -hmm. Now you may want to do more, but this is about right on my protein number because we're going to do the bacon that's on the back burner, which I'm not sure if you can see or not. Yeah, you can see a little bit. Um, and I don't want to go over, my protein number is 46 grams. Yours may be different. And remember that in when you're in therapeutic ketosis, that's ketosis for fighting stuff like uh, cancers or anything like that you want to make sure that you're not blowing through your protein number you want to make sure you keep that low because we want to work with fats right so that's all for for this um these are going to be nice and piping hot too which is nice um the only thing is is my bacon is not ready so <laughs> that one got me um so we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna, well, I was gonna keep these in the pan, but they keep on splattering, so. Should have had a top for that guy, too. But we'll keep those, those will be hot enough, I think. We'll just leave this guy sitting here to cool down. Uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and move our bacon over here. And turn that up a little bit. I can already see that my cleanup is going to be quite substantial. I even got my shorts involved in this, so. but that's okay. Um, you know, it's easy to clean up stuff. So what I uh, one of the things I use to clean up in the kitchen is I just use like a little daub of the Dawn liquid soap on here because it's a degreaser and uh, you know everything gets clean really quick. I can look on the floor with the overhead lights and uh, clean all the, the grease off the tile down there too. All right, so we're onto the bacon. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna take and try a little piece of this. Look at how soft that is. I mean, it's just, wow. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is just so good. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, and so tender. Now you'll only get this with beef heart if you do the long cooking like I just showed you there. You know, the, either the sous vide or put it in a, a pan of water, slow cook it. If you have a temperature gauge, it's much better because, oh man, that is so, just so tender. Mm, I love this way of cooking. Thank you, France. <laughs> they come up with so many good things and here we have the bacon cooking um, 
Sometimes I let it go crispy, sometimes not. Um, let some of the fat render out of that guy. And since the kitchen is already a big splattery mess, not too many worries for that, right? I think what I will do is, I know this looks gaggingly crazy, but I'll put a little, like a tablespoon of the pork fat down in there. And I probably have a tablespoon and a half all over the place here, but that's, that's what happened this morning. And of course, Last little bit of the bacon. Mmm, yeah. All right, and there we go. I'm gonna move this to a, a cooler burner. This is what happens on these, these burners. If they have any kind of oils or moistures at all, it just turns it brown, but uh, clean that off, and then once it cools, it's great. And now it's time to enjoy it. I really want to go back there and clean. You know, you, you have this compulsion, I guess, inside of you that you want to, when you see something like dirty, I mean, that's me anyway, you want to like clean it up. So here it is, it's the, um, the bacon over top of the beef hearts sitting in, I think I'm gonna have to get me a spoon, sitting in and look just how tender that is, just how easy it cuts. Matter of fact, I think I'll have a piece of bacon with that. Um, so total animal fats going on here, no seed oils or anything like that, and just enjoyment. Mm, mm, mm. That's so good. Mm, that is so good. Oh, I think I'm gonna cook more of this beef heart. Um, another thing is, like I said, um, in some of the other posts I made, the videos, is that beef heart is so rich in vitamins and different minerals and stuff that you really do need. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is crazy good. Wow. So, as I'm enjoying this, I hope that you can find beef heart locally. Um, and my advice to you is Try not to buy a lot of it because for me, there is a difference when I freeze it and then thaw it out and then eat it. I mean, it tastes a little different when it's fresh like this. Mm. There's just, this is like, this is like heaven. Really good. Mm. Appreciate you guys subscribing. Like this video if you got anything out of it. And um, wow, I'm gonna enjoy my beef heart and bacon. Oh, finally.